Hello guys, it is this Cottage Guy. I'm going on to the workshop today to run my Walesco D305 fire engine as requested by MC Benman. Um, he wanted this video, so here it is. He also challenged me to try and run a steam engine on spring water, and I like that, so I'm going to definitely going to do that one day. Oh, and here's the pond, and the workshop is down there. So we're going to go down there and um, go steam a fire engine. So I'm now in the workshop, um, but and the video's not going to be as good as the other ones, as the traction engine and the D1E 100E, because my tabletop tripod, the little one, broke. Basically, I, I, put, I, you know, I pulled it out, I like, pulled the legs out, and it's been done for a snap, mass across properly. So, um, I'm going to have to hold the camera very still today, or rest it on things, which should be alright. But, I'm just going to try my best, and hopefully you'll still enjoy it. So, without further ado, guys, I present to you, the fire engine. Now, there is already enough water in the fire engine, if I can see. Actually, now I'm going to put a bit more in. Um, I'm going to have to hold the camera for this, so I do apologise if it's not as good. But I'll, I'll leave you like this, so you can't quite see the filling up process, but if you've been watching the other ones, you'll know how to fill up. And hang it on the fire engine, and plop it in about there. There you go, put, put the leftover water in there. I apologise if you can... Here, things, guys. It's just because those they're building new houses over. There's like a little a mini kind of forest tree forest imagery behind our house, and um, they're building houses behind that. So that's annoying. But anyway, so we can get our burner out. And um, we have some leftover tablet in there, but it's covered in water for some reason. So we can just flick that out and get our new tablets. I wanted to put get some more, but ah well. Just grab. Obviously, I'm dropping them everywhere because I'm a clumsy bum. Put that in. No, I put two in this engine because it is a big engine. And you get a lighter. Once again, apologies if you could not see this well. And you just light it. Just hold it on. Just, just hold it on the one of the tablets. Because once that light's on, it'll spread over to you the one. So I'll let that catch on a bit. That right, should be good enough. There you go, it is lit. And all the smoke actually comes out the chimney. I'll show you. You can see all the smoke from the fire coming out the chimney. Which is cool. Once it's, once it's lit, it's, um, there's no smoke, because it is a all-used tablet, so all used up, there's no smoke. It's eco-friendly. Greta Thunberg would like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you the engine. So we've got the burner in here. This is the boiler. It's a big, big boiler. This is the chimney. This gets very hot very quickly. This is the safety valve, and this is the whistle. Then this is the steam... Ah, I hit that. You've got fire hoses on here, and that's one of the fire hoses there. Black things, you can... Squirt water out, which is quite fun. So you've got the two little racks right there. Then this is the steam pipe. And this is the steam valve, so it's less steam to the engine. And this engine is a vertical double acting. Got a little oil cup there. I mean, to oil the engine, so I'm going to get going to that now. I actually bought a new oil can. Um, because my other one broke. Um, the one I bought was £30. £30. <laughs> And it's a Rylang um, 200 milliliter oil can. Um, basically, if you watch Keith Appleton, it's the same kind of oil can he uses. It's exactly the same. Um, but it hasn't arrived, and it's now three days late. So I have to still use the annoying bottle, which is just sad and depressing and annoying. But hey ho. So I'm going to show you the oil and show you what you can do. These are my three oils. This is These are both steam cylinder oils, and that's lubricating oil. So with this, I just move this, you just take the cap off here, like that, okay, and now for the initial one, yeah, I put this in, and then, so basically what you do, when you first put oil in this, 
you turn it, you turn the firewheel to draw the oil in, and then what, then what you do, you then put some more oil in, but you keep it in, then you close it, then it acts as a displacement lubricator. So first of off, I'm going to turn my light on. There you go, guys, a bit better. So I'm going to use this oil for the initial. So you just dribble it into there. Overfilled a bit, but it'll be all right. And just turn the firewheel, and you can see it's getting pulled in. There we go. And now, when I, once I put the cap on, it won't um, be drawn in. Only steam will do that. So you get the thicker oil. This is thick, 460 grade steam oil. So it's very thick. You need to wait for it to come out. Thick stuff. And wipe the excess off. Then deal with that. And put your cap back on. A, a little bit will dribble out, but as Laurie, Laurie's mechanical model says, it's just protect, protecting the bearing for the future. There we go. So now, we have to, all we have to do now is build up steam, and then we are ready to rumble. And we're not quite ready to rumble yet, I apologise, because we need to lubricate the part. So I've got this. I'm doing this one-handed. I try to take too much of a mess. So we, what we do, we put oil on the little end. Put oil on the big end. Oil on the piston there. Then oil on the side valve, just put a little squirt in there. And then this is the tricky part, I'm going to have to just switch cameras to chance for this bit, even though I am right handed. You just get the, try and get the oil, oil in there and just kind of try and squirt it in the general vicinity of the eccentrics. It's not easy to do, but it's not the hardest thing to do. Then you just put a bit, try and get a bit in there, into there, um, and then the valve, just put a bit around there, then just turn the engine over to work it through. And there we go. You need to do this if you're going to run it on, on the floor, but I will show you anyway. So what you do, you just put a bit of, there's an oil bit here. Just put a bit of oil on the gears and a bit of oil on the chain, and that'll find its way down to the wheels. You need to put a bit of oil on there, and on that. And then also, you can put a bit of oil on the steering mechanism. I'll well, just keep it running well. And once you've got oil on the steering mechanism, just get the wheel. Just do that because it does have the steering wheel on it. Obviously, you don't have to lubricate this, but this is quite cute. Little bell. You can't really hear it, but it's a cute thing. It's, it's a novelty item. So now we can wait for the steam to raise. Once again, if you want to find out more about this lovely engine, you can go to my playlist, YouTube playlist, and go to my playlist titled Talking About My Steam Engines. And you can um, you can find out more about all my engines. They're all on there in chronological order of getting them. So you can always, it's guaranteed, you can always find something out about my engines. And I don't talk about that type of engine, or I talk or that model of engine. I talk about that very model. So my exam, my my model. I don't talk about you know the company or the history of the actual real thing and um, I talk about the model itself so in the video of this engine I talk about this particular engine and how I got it how it works and all that kind of stuff so yeah we can raise some steam now we are getting some steam we are getting some steam so we can start to warm the engine warm the engine we just open the valve here you can see it starts to move and what I do is just hold it in a position. Also, you'll go that one side of the cylinder. And do the same like this. Hold it there. And then just turn it around. And I'm going to keep it in that position there. Okay, and now we can empty the condenser oil trap. Pull it out from under here. Condensed oil and water. And the exhaust. Get this 
and just kind of dump it out. You'll get to have this oily sludge in, but you can just clean that off with a towel if you want to, but I'm not going to do that right now. So it can't be bothered. Just there, make sure once it's in, that's in the right position. Yep, that is. So now, once again, whip some steam. This boiler is a very, very hungry boiler and it needs a lot of heat to work successfully. So it's already taken two tablets and I got, and obviously it instantly makes me drop a tablet. So I'm going to put the camera down. Now this boiler obviously needs, because it's so big, it needs a lot of heat to work successfully. Kind of, and get the pliers, kind of get that in place and get a, a lighter. And light that on fire. So there we go, it is lit now. My fingers crossed, we'll finally get some steam, because this thing is taking ages. Okay. Right then. I'm gonna try and start. Get full steam. Just turn it like that, I'll just turn it by the, the rod. And then go, you can hear the sounds of the exhaust. And then I'm just kind of turn it over. Come on. Being close, you can hear the see the water come out. Right, we're getting close now. It will knock a bit, there will be a bit of water. Make sure that it's full power. See the water coming out. And the steam just comes up, up about the side of the engine. There you go. It's very beautiful. And the engine sounds beautiful in slow motion. That's how the engine sounds in slow motion. Still going through its warming stage, you can tell by the exhaust. But as more and more, more steam comes out, the uh, engine will get hot, get hotter and hotter, and run faster and faster. And I'm going to see how slow I can run it for you. So the valve does have a lot of resistance in it, which is good. Kind of. Open it up a bit more, give it a spin, still not quite enough so just give it a bit more steam. Close. There's a slow run, we can open it up fully now. And obviously it will self start as well. Yeah, I just like to run it at full power because then it doesn't use up because then it just uses up steam, it doesn't build any more steam up. And it runs beautifully. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you this. Just very quickly. So what we do, we just engage 
the flywheel. Obviously it's a very beautiful engine. Forwards again. But yeah, and then you just disengage that. And restart the engine. So there you go, guys. That's how you run a D100 D305. I'm going to shut down to so just start the fire. And it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to slow down, but it will slow down. You hear the RPM dropping. You can hear it's back in the warming stage now. Some more water's coming out. There you go. So it's just. Slowing down now. And it's coming to a stop. We're only running on water, essentially water vapor now, not much steam left. Here we go, we're stopping. And it's going. Here we go. Here we go. There we are. Close the valve, and we are done. Make sure the fire's all out. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Obviously, comment below what else you want to see. I'm always open to video suggestions, and so look, getting video suggestions. Please do comment below what you want to see. Thanks for watching.